Okay guys, starting with designing our header section and before we start, I just want to remind you that design is everything and we're not going to only learn how to use the Elementor page builder or the WordPress, but we're going to learn how to do design tricks and some nice design techniques to get our design at its best. Okay, starting with the new section. We have this new section for our header. We can add new section from here and we can start its layout from here. So I'm going to be adding a section's background image or video. Then I'm going to put layers on top of that section's background, which is our text or header or subtext or buttons or any other widget from those widgets. Okay. So starting by editing the section from here, then choosing the style, we can make it actually stretch then to be full width. Then we're going to go to style and background. I'm going to choose classic one. We can choose gradient or video background from here. We have the classic one. Then we're going to go. It's going to open our media library. And uh, here's a quick hint for choosing or uploading your images. I'm going to choose this one. I uploaded all my images from a folder. So they are uploaded from here. Or you can start uploading your files from here. Upload files. Then select files. And I got that folder, website, resources, and you can select all your pictures at once and upload them together or individually if you would like to pick some image. And some of them are BNG with no background and some of them are GBG with background and we can use them according to our needs. And it's really important to get your image optimized. And for optimizing images, try to keep them below 2000 pixels if you're gonna use it for like a header or a wide screen or full screen. And for small images, try to make them below 700 or 800 pixels and try to optimize them using the Photoshop or that quick website. It's called Optimizella or <laughs> whatever they call it. And you can upload your file from here and it's gonna optimize it for you. And you can choose your optimization level or you can upload your images and use that plugin. It's called WB Smush. And this is the one. It's called Smush Image Compression, but you can search it that way. And it's really amazing. Or even e w Image Optimizer. So you can try both of them and see and judge yourself the performance and check it later. We're going to learn how to optimize our website performance later in this course. Okay, back to our design. I'm going to add this image. Okay, then we're going to go insert media. Okay, so we have that as an image background for our section. Then we're going to add two buttons. But we will add columns first, then we're going to put our buttons inside of those columns. And columns are used basically to insert widgets within the same row. So if you want to duplicate columns or buttons or anything like that, you can do that from here easily. So let's add a button and see how it works. We have a button in here. We're going to add it in here. And then we can delete that one actually. And uh, we can duplicate that button the number of times we would like to, okay? <laughs> it could get funny, you know? So let's uh, delete those new buttons. And actually, I'm gonna duplicate that one after we customize it to save our time. Okay, don't worry, we're gonna see that in action now. Okay, this could be our elements as a start for our header. And it looks quite weird like that. Let's go customize each and every section of those, starting by the section itself going to layout we have full width and let's make its height to fit to screen and then you're gonna see that the section is starting to cover our screen from here and also we have the content width for those elements either to be boxed within the section or full width stretching with the section and we're gonna see that or column position in the middle for those elements and let's start adjusting our elements from here, let's go. We have the title. We can call this one. And you can link that title to anywhere you would like. Uh, maybe within your website or any other website. Maybe google.com or whatever. And you have to put HTTP before your link. But we're not going to do that for our title. We're going to do that in the button to direct us to anywhere else we would like. Then we have the size of our heading. We can customize that from here and we have its alignment. Let's make it in center and we have this styling for our text. We're gonna 
make that white and then we're going to enable typography options for the title we have full control of its size from here and then we can choose the font type from here as we said we have sans serifs and serif fonts usually for these kind of websites that will be talking about technology and new trends and all that stuff i really recommend going with sans serif font and i really recommend those sans serif fonts for most of the modern designs and we're gonna choose uh, helvetica for example it's nice one for the sans serif fonts you can try arial helvetica and you can try open sans and you have source sans and those fonts are by google which is amazing thing in that page builder instead of going in html coding or css to insert fonts you can choose your fonts from here those are google fonts and then we have the weight which is the boldness of our font and you can choose from different sizes to make it even lighter now it's bold you can try to make it lighter if you would like something like that and it could be really looking very nice if you're using light weight with very large text to be readable and to give an example with that we can go make it even bigger like that but let me tell you something i will keep it bold because our image is not that dark to be more visible for visitors when they visit our website and you're gonna see that the background isn't that dark when we start adjusting our subheading and then we can transform that font to make it all uppercase or capitalize the first letters or lowercase and you can try always to use that one it will give you a cleaner look or even uppercase for your main titles that you want to give them some sort of importance like this it looks even stronger like that and i'm gonna reduce the size a little bit and then we have the style to make it italic or oblique then we have the line height which is basically the space around your header or if you have a paragraph this will be your line height between each and every line you're gonna see that when we start working on paragraphs and we have the letter spacing to increase the spacing between uh, the letters and you can use that to make some alignments for the subheading with the heading if you want them to start together and end together okay and you can add some text shadow if you would like from here and you can control it from here give it a blur or horizontal or vertical to move your shadow or something like this we're gonna see it in a better example later so let's close the text shadow and start working on our subheading when we press on that we have that default text which you can see in here and let's start styling that text from here let's make its color white to be more visible like that and make its alignment in the center and start working on typography for that one let's make it same and for fonts try to be consistent with your fonts try to stick to one font through your entire design and maximum two fonts while really recommended to use one font through your entire design whether it's a website or any kind of design usually designers tend to use only one font and maybe maybe another different font for one heading or some design elements that they want to make it stand out okay and let's make it 700 for example and let's reduce its size maybe we can change its content as well to make it shorter line i don't know any kind of text will be looking nice and then we can go back to our style and start making a little bit bigger like that make it all uppercase and always in your website's header try to make your message clear for the visitors and give them a quick impression about your main website's feature okay so some people try to make it so crowded and so busy with design elements and eventually it will cause and result in visual distortion which is not good and people will feel like they are lost in your website 
and most of the people's problems that they enter the website and they feel quite lost within the website they don't know where to go or they feel so overwhelmed or where to get their services from or where to get anything of that website so people nowadays don't have that much time to spend on websites trying to figure out your website's main service or your main message okay uh, one more thing I would like to add to that header before we go adjust our button is to make that background even a little bit darker for making our text more clearer and more standing out. Let's go to our section from here so we can edit our section from that part and let's go to style. We have this background. We can close the background and open background overlay. We can add a classic one or gradient. Let's go with classic and you can add image background or even color we're gonna use the black color and now we have its opacity we can make it a little bit like that to make our typography more visible and give it more contrast okay so maybe a little bit of that to keep our colors vibrant and then let's go to our button from here we're gonna click on our element and then we have its option from here we can make it default and those are colors they make danger to make it red or warning for orange or even successful green later we but you can go choose more colors from here we, we're gonna do that we're not gonna use these colors anyway let's make our text service for example and we can change its size from here make it medium or even large <laughs> extra large if you would like but let's keep it small as it is then we can add some icons before or after our text if we would like maybe like uh, those arrows and we can get that arrow to be after our text like that or any other icons we have many icons in here and we can choose our spacing for the icon and we're gonna keep it as it is uh, actually I'm gonna remove that I don't need any icons in here. We're going to use them later in other buttons. And you can change its style from here by editing the typography or even border type from here. But we're going to do that in the other buttons. We're not going to do anything with that now. And you have the advanced settings for the background or border or anything like that. You can go work with your background in normal case and in hover case. And here you can choose your background color from making this color remember when we added our colors in the palette so we have that color now and this color will be in normal and we can change its hover to make it a different color for the background maybe that yellow if you would like to maybe like that or even make it gray and that's an example for the hover if you want to change its color and also try to be consistent with your hovering option for the buttons so try not to make each button with a different color uh, for me i'm not gonna make it any difference so i'm gonna keep it the same color and we can add animation for our button to uh, shrink or grow for example if you hover over the button it will go a little bit bigger like that or even add the Balls grow like that I can try with these animations we have the bush as well so I like the grow looks quite simple and you can add box shadow when you hover over your button like that we can add some nice box shadow if you would like when you hover over your button you can activate the colors from dragging that slider up to here and you have here a very saturated colors and here mixed with white and here is white okay so we gonna go choose maybe that kind of magenta color maybe if you like that color you have to save it in your hex colors okay so i'm gonna save that color if, if i'm gonna use it anyway or even spread that box shadow if you would like or move it around as horizontal or vertical if you want to and you can change its position to make it inside the button instead of outside like that and you can keep it outline if you want to but that's for demonstration purpose only I'm not gonna use it in my button so let's close that for now so we have the hover option like that okay 
so let's go back to our normal settings and we have the border radius we can add some border to our button to make it more round like that or even more round like that okay I like this one looks quite nice and we can add some border type to make it with a stroke from here border type to give it solid and adjust its color like that make it uh, maybe two to outline your button of course it doesn't look good but I wanted to show you how to add border line in here okay so we're gonna remove that and close our border type make it none and then we're gonna duplicate our button for saving our time which is amazing feature of that page builder we can use to duplicate any element now we have two buttons with the same style instead of going and restyling that one again but all we need to do now is to align our content to make this one on the left and the other one on the right okay now let's edit this one and change its background going to style and choosing the colors choosing our color from here and here we go uh, one more thing we want to change its hover color as well to make its hover color now because now it's like that so let's make it the same color just a growing button okay so let's close that one and uh, we're gonna change its text as well so let's make it new trends for example and uh, we can add its link later when we build our pages uh, which could be our about us page or any other page you can add our link in here to get our visitors to visit that link okay so and now let's review our header it looks really nice and colors looks really vibrant and it looks clean delivering the message we're not done yet with that but this is our initial part of the header we're gonna add some shape dividers in here and other section to make it even look more dynamic and we're gonna see how to do that in just a second